today's video, we will teach you on how to create this amazing table design in Power BI. In this table, we will put the flag image of the country with country name, add sparkline to show trends, and show total value to provide an analysis focused on number of views across all social media platforms in countries. And before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more clips and videos of Power BI best practices. Let's start by creating a simple table. Add a visual, select the data that we need such as country and views fields. If the suggested visual is not correct, click the build visual icon in the upper right corner of the visual. Then, select the table visual. Now, add the image URL of the countries. Make sure that the data type of the field is set as image URL to show it as the image or logo and not a URL link. Then, Add a sparkline in the table by going to the Build Visual. Right-click on the field where you want to base your visualization as Y-axis. Then select X-axis which most of the time the date field in your data. The next step is to select a color background for your report or dashboard which will help you to understand what color combination is best for your visuals. In this step, we select a dark blue background color, but you can select any light or darker background based on your preferences. Then, change the name of every columns in the table visual, such as countries, trends, and views, respectively. It is highly suggested to ensure column headers represent what is being included in every column in the table. You can also manually resize the width of each columns. In this table, we will remove the total row and change the size of the images to ensure it won't get too much spaces in the table. Also, change the paddings of the table, such as top, bottom, left, and right, to put gaps between the upper part for titles and subtitles and the actual table. Change the background color of the table, add color to borders and change the edge format of the table to 15 pixels rounded corners. This part is more of aesthetics and feel free to change the format or pixels in the table visual and properties. Next step is adding title and subtitle to the visual. Take note that these information is critical in your report or dashboard that helps your user to understand the context and purpose of the table. Then, change the color and type of font you will use. You can use Calibri or Segway UI as font type. This is primary in aesthetics, so feel free to change it to your liking. There are a lot of properties and visual formats you can apply. In this table, go to Style Presets and select None. Change the horizontal grid color to darker but will still be visible to your users. Then remove the bottom horizontal column of the headers and increase row padding of every rows in the table for readability purposes. Don't hesitate to resize if needed. Furthermore, change the color or row and column values, place headers in the middle of the column and turn off the auto size width option to avoid automatic adjustment in column widths. In your sparkline, show the highest value and change the color of the marker to inform your users about the available highest or maximum value in aggregated data. Sparklines are a small graphic designed you can add in your table to give a quick representation of numerical or statistical information within a piece of text, taking the form of a graph without axes. And that is how you can format your tables. Tables and matrix are powerful visualization in Power BI and when you add context and purpose it will absolutely give better visibility and additional information to your report users. For more videos, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always notified when there is new uploads for you.